My name is uh, Jerry Kahumba and I am a probation officer uh, stationed in Naivasha. Uh, I have been trained. Um, I have gone through the this space leadership development program. I've gone through the eight modules uh, and for me it was um, a very good opportunity and an eye opener for me as a leader and as a person who collaborates with various uh, departments uh, because uh, we are, I'm able to map out the stakeholders who we can collaborate with and also be able to engage in various leadership opportunities. Um, I have also been given an opportunity uh, to be a facilitator in the PBLD and um, I am facilitating a cohort that um, has brought together various sectors, growth from the government and uh, the ones who are not in government. Uh, so I am taking them through together with my co-facilitators the eight modules. Uh, I have seen a great transformation in Naivasha from this critical mass that we have been able to bring together, uh, which is bringing changes through the transformation that we've seen, the changes and transformation we've seen from the leaders we are developing. We have been able to see various changes and um, a good testimony is the uh, election period that was there. The leaders who have gone through PPLD were able to voice out the message of peace, change the mindsets of various people in the community, in each and every sector where they are. Where we have these leaders, they were able to transform other people, the way they think, change their mindsets, especially on issues of violence. And we have had a relative, a very peaceful um, election period, most specifically here in Naivasha. Uh, we've seen uh, interventions being made by some of um, the been developed, even with the conflict with the fishing industry that has been there. Uh, we've seen um, people who've gone through PBLD take a step forward to intervene, to bring people together, to try and resolve the conflict that has been there in the fishing industry. And therefore, this is a very, very important and um, a program that is adding a lot of value, which is actually visible in the community. It can be seen from the transformations that are there. Today marks the final module for this particular cohort of Naivasha. We've had a very intensive development journey with this particular cohort that bring together different stakeholders across Naivasha and uh, they have been able to do a wonderful job in Naivasha. From the module one, I have learned a lot, especially in the module one and module two. I learned about something called depression. Area before I used to judge, or I used to make judgment. Or I always pointed to somebody else. I could say this and this, or, or as a senior officer, you know you always say you did this, you said this, I said this to be done, it has not been done. So I always used to, to put somebody on the table and judge and conflict and do all that. But from that day of reflection, I can say that reflection changed me. My mindset was changed. The way I judge, the way I do things, the way I take things, I have to, to rethink or to, to analyze that thing in all perspective. At household, initially, uh, when my wife could differ with me, I could just I could just, you know, in game English too roughly, but right now I'm using that, the topic under emotional intelligence. I'm able to assess myself first, and if I feel like um, my emotions are high, I, I get out of her. If she's also high, I get out of her, and then I come back at some point. When she's cool, then 
we sit down and then we resolve the issues amicably without conflicting. Indeed, I have seen some changes. I have been in a committee that tried to solve the conflict between law enforcers and the fishermen in Naivasha. And we agreed on a compromise position where the fishermen now are allowed in the lake on paying a small fees. I think the bloody confrontations that used to be there are now a thing of the past. Among the things that we have achieved is in terms of holding leadership dialogues with political leaders to as general elections and of course assuring community members of their commitment to peacefulness, assuring the community members of their development agenda and of course committing to peaceful general elections. This has also already been seen with the just concluded 2022 general elections. When you think about Lakeview Ward, what are the two most pressing service delivery issues that you see as an aspirant and what will you do? Uh, if elected. In the community uh, setup, uh, we, are, we have come with ways of solving any form of violence, any form of a conflict. Like uh, during the election period, the first election period, we were able to form groups to address issues to do with peace building activities, whereby we had uh, people come together, uh, forming networks to, to like, engage the leaders, come and sign peace pledges. Uh, instead of uh, like being uh, being like saying that there are those people who can come and do it, we are doing it ourselves. Whereby even the forums which were organized, like uh, the debates of the MCA debate in Lake and Gwandani, we were able to like, be part of it and interrogate the readers who are being elected. Civic education has also been mentioned as one of the major areas that these leaders have really delved in, looking at the critical elements of lesbian leadership development in terms of advancing the zones of uncomfortable debate where people have not been talking about this, uh, uh, these issues and of course they build up into political violence. Kabla ya uchaguzi, tulishirikiana na watu wa Kenya Human Rights, wakakuja mpaka Olkaria, and the Olkarians can testify to this, walikuja mpaka Olkaria, siku mbili, na tukaita watu kwa hall ya YMCA, kaita watu siku mbili watu wakaja hall siku mbili na wakafunzwa political their political rights jinsi ambavyo kitu ambacho wanastahili kufanya na kile ambacho wanastahili kufanya I've also worked with the midrift um, to sensitize the communities especially around Kongoni and the Dabibi area on the female genital nutrition and I can talk without fear that now there is a reduction in those ills because we have been able to sensitize the readers, we have been able to sensitize community gatekeepers, we have been able to, to sensitize young men, old men, and all the people in the area. For example, in my life, I was a no-nonsense mother. My children knew <laughs> they know me. When you come across me when I'm in bad temper, I could punish you to the extent that I could. But with the time, I can't realize, no. I know, I, uh, if anything, or any kid do something to me, first I ask him or her, why did you do it? And then he or she explained why this and this happened. You know, before, no explanation, nothing. It is me to judge and to punish. This particular cohort has been impressive in terms of their incorporation into the government structures. They have told us how they were able to be incorporated in Chiefs Barathers. This local community dialogues convened by government officials to ensure that the, the leadership agenda, the place-based leadership concepts are being uh, addressed and uh, incorporated into the decisions that government make. One of the key areas that are, they have really mentioned is the, the key eight key, the eight tenets of practice when it comes to leadership. The philosophy that which, at which the best leadership is the mindset, skill set, and tool set to address the systemic challenge has been well witnessed by these particular leaders in terms of addressing the systemic challenges, especially looking at the political violence in Russia. BLD through that MST, mindset, skill set, and tool set. Saiko organization, Yangu, I can. From where I'm standing, 
naona nikipeleka mbali sana because through the mindset itani pay a challenge kutafuta critically our investors then through the skill set tajua vile nitaongelesha then with the tool set tajua resources nikipewa tatumia aje to ensure organization yangu ina thrive na inafika at its deep point i would love to say that uh, from this i as a leader from uh, this development i have learned to be artic- uh, to articulate my my skills to be to compromise um, to be independent and to understand myself first so that i can be able to understand others and my community in general i'm now able to tell people living with disabilities that we do not have to wait for people to come and do things for us we can come together change our mindset and also start feeling that we are part of this society so my limitations don't necessarily mean that i have to sit by the sidelines and wait for people to do things for us because before i came for pbld i had the notion that people living with disabilities have been forgotten but that's not the case and now i'm able to tell them like Yes we have our differences but there are other ways and channels where we can air our grievances and not necessarily keep telling people that we have been forgotten so yes it has been an eye opener and I must say thank you so much for midrift the entire management of midrift thank you for thinking about naivasha thank you for coming on board and to make sure that at least you come up with a solution on how we deal with our issues and to my fellow leaders the cohort which has been just trained i think we will be collaborating we'll be working together we are leaders from different organizations from different groups from different sectors but now we have been brought by one umbrella through this training and from here i know we are going to be networking and collaborating to do a lot of things as we continue